Hi guys, Steve here, and this video I want to show you how to tame a Rhino Ganafa, Ark's best flyer. This first video will show you the basics, and then I'll do one after to try and create a super bug. So subscribe for that, and please click the like button if you find this video helpful. Thank you very much. You can find them in the swamp area on the island and the Lost Island map. They're supposed to spawn in that redwood area, and they're as rare as giggers. You can shoot them with a long neck to pull their aggro to where you want to tame them, but only do it a couple of times as they're a bit fragile. The first thing you want to do is kill a male or a low level one, as only the females are useful and can give you the baby. You can easily catch them with a net gun to get them on the ground, then kill them, go to the body and open the inventory, and click the pheromone that you'll need to tame one. You can kill a few if you like to get more, as they don't last forever. I'll show you some things I've tried so you don't waste your time. They're too big to fit in my griffin cage, but once they hit some structures they seem attracted to it. So a cage could give you some protection if you're struggling, and while it's distracted attacking it, you can net it, then kill it. I tried netting it to the ground, then putting dino gates over it, like the way I came up to trap the mana magra. One at its head, then one at its ass. But its body shape's not very good for that, and it's an unreliable method as you can't really trust it, as I've tried it again, and again, and again, and again, and every time it escaped. Okay, on to the taming. You want to bring a tame creature with lots of health. The bigger creature with more levels, the better. However, it's much easier if you can shoot from that creature while you're riding it. So for this demo, I'm just going to use a trike. Then work out which creature's best in the next video. Because you're riding a dino, the bug will attack that instead of you. So you can shoot a Rhino Naffa and examine its health with a magnifying glass in safety, as you need to get its health below 10% to get it to get ready to impregnate your dino, but you need to also keep checking its health so you don't kill it by accident. I've got its health low, so I fed my dino its pheromone. It glows pinky red once you've done it, and I'll get it ready to be impregnated. I've brought a shotgun to do the main damage, and I've brought the assault rifle to peck away at its health. Should be about there. I'll just shoot it a few more times. Try and get as low as I can without killing it. Then once the female is ready, its tail will light up. It will swoop in and impregnate the creature you're on. And your dino will have a bright orange glow coming from it. Meaning it's going to be a mummy. Then explode horribly as a baby's born. And a wild rhino naffa will fly off. I would keep your dino safe at this point, and don't cryo it up, or you lose a baby and you've got to do it all over again. So go take it somewhere safe and look after it, and make sure it's well fed because it's eating for two now. As you notice at the saddle, it's got the incubation time, and under that time tool craving, when you've got to give it a special food it asked for to boost its levels. You've got to make sure that your pregnant dino has got loads of regular food in it, as it'll eat one every second. Then if its food runs out, its health will go down until it dies, and you don't want that. A trick you can do to keep its health up is to bring a snow owl with you to heal it. I've put a server to times one at the moment, but there's no way I'm going to wait eight hours to tame this one, so let's do another quicker with a server boosted. Okay, let me show you again. I've got aggro. Get on your creature. It'll attack you. You can take your pheromone now if you wish. You glow in pink. Shoot it. It's a lowish level. Check its health. Peck its health away. Check with your magnifying glass. Count how many bullets you're putting into it. It'll shoot its sap at you. Freeze you in place. You can take it. A bit more shooting. So it's nice riding a creature and looking at it. A few more hits. Get it below 100. Just seem to do it more then. Its tail's glowing. It'll sweep in, impregnate the dino. And buzz off. Right. I've boosted my server settings. 
its fluff completely. So this time it's craving superior kibble. So we need to feed it one of those. Drag it to the zero of your hotbar. Press E. Let's fed it. Now we've got to wait until it craves something else. See its health's going down. So you might need an owl. Sweet veggie cakes. Well, it's about to hatch, so I don't have time to give it that. It's going to come out a low level. Then the incubation is over. Your creature will explode horribly, and a big bug will fly out of it. Go up to it and claim it. See, it's only a level 10, and Mummy was level 28. Put meat inside it to keep it fed. It's got a care timer, so you've got to look after it and give it what it wants to imprint on it. That's one big mozzie you don't want biting you at night. If I'd leave more than a small lump, it would bite your head off. You can pick them up with Maywings. So you can nurse four of them at the same time. Show what it looks like in the cradle. I think that's about a look at it. Skip forward a bit and it needs imprinting. Basic kibble. So you've got to feed it before it's born and after it's born. I'll get a bigger one so I can show you what it looks like and show you some of the stuff it can do. It's one giant mozzie. It's Bugzilla. Model's really good though. And the creature's got some talents as well. Okay, if you feed it sap, it turns it into resin, which it uses for its ammo. It can fly really fast. Left mouse button is attack with your legs. All its controls are on the bottom left, so they're easy to find. It's got three attacks. This needle does damage for each hit. Then it does a missile, and it shoots goo on the ground, which coats an enemy in resin and freezes it. But the best thing is that it can pick up large dinos, like a Rex. So I think this is going to take over from a Quetzal. It's like a helicopter dropping off an armoured tank. It can pick up Diplos. But it can't do Brontos. They're just a bit too big. Let's try and shoot it with resin. Got a big tail. That's what she said. Right, that's a bombard thing. Shooting resin on the floor. You notice it's got yellow circles on the Bronto. Let's start covered in goo. I've missed a few on the floor. Shoot needles. How do you do missiles? Let me know in comments. I'm covering it. It's like a big toffee apple. It's a toffee bronto on a stick. There you go, it's locked now. Those dots are turned red. It stopped moving, but it still can attack me. If we get too close to it. The control C is armor. I'll let you work that out. You can pick land creatures out of the water. I'll save you, little turtle. Your swim time's over. Everyone out of the pool. You can pick spinos up. They seem to bite you. Bad spino. He doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, he's vanished. Working is intended. You can go for a swim. It's pretty quick underwater as well. It doesn't dismount you, which is good. But you can't pick water creatures out of sea. Only if I can go on land as well. I can't carry out a shark away with me. On my next video, I'm going to try and create an army of superbugs and try and find which creature is best to impregnate and breed from. 
I've already got an idea for a trap that works. So I might have a way of getting an army of these just from one mummer. And if it works, you won't want to miss that. So please subscribe or you might miss it. Click like if this video is helpful and it'd be nice if you shared it with your friends. And click the bell notifications and all for when I upload next. Check out the links in the description box below if you want to join Patreon and join me on Discord, buy anything from a merch store or enter server. Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for my next video and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!